today we are going to see a demo of apg application integration cloud function and salesforce working together so we will see today that how we can unlock the potential of our organization's api management and application integration with apg and application integration and in this demo we will see firsthand how apg fortifies your apis with robust security quota management OS validations for your REST API while application integration empowers you to seamlessly orchestrate internal and external services with features like scatter gather patterns, message payload manipulation and connectors to over a hundred external services like Salesforce and Workdays and etc. So let's get started and let's have a look at the architecture of this demo. So we have an external application which uh, represent an external API consumer who are going to make call to our REST API. They will connect to Google Cloud Load Balancer which is exposing our APG and we can choose to make it internal or external. And then we have Cloud Armor providing web services on top. Then APG is talking to application integration behind the scenes where we have different patterns implemented. We have cloud functions we have some email validation or verification triggered and then we are connecting to Salesforce. Now what each component here is doing, as I said, Google Load Balancer and Cloud Armor are providing a global endpoint with Anycast IP and Cloud Armor is providing first line of defense for volumetric and DDoS attacks which can happen on our API. We can implement TLS and MTLS with Google Load Balancer. APG is our API fulfillment uh, engine and then in within that we have static validation for open api spec and we will see what kind of validation we are implementing there and then we have rate limiting quota management authentication authorization implemented by apg and then we have a tiered controlled access to our api product application integration is providing orchestration patterns like scatter gather parallel processing etc we can do message modification we are doing message modification and we will see that also in some asynchronous back off or synchronous back off policies uh, for error handling alerting and notification to our devsecops teams cloud function is implementing a dynamic validation service which we have and then we have salesforce uh, which is our target uh, service so now let's get started and make a primary first call so in this first call, what we are going to do, we are going to send a proper uh, data properly for formatted and everything in proper functioning so that we can see even if our data is lining up in Salesforce or not. So I'm going to make this call. So now the request is completed. And as we can see, there is a Salesforce generated ID. And if I go to Salesforce and I should be able to see my request there. And if I refresh my data, if I go, and blue spin has been entered here and all all the validations and everything was passed and no issues everything went smoothly but now let's get started and see what all these components and what benefit these components are providing if i don't send a proper api key what happens in that case so my authentication i need to check i will remove this api key and put any random thing here and then send this request so here we can see apg has rejected this request and uh, i will show you what all policies we used but let's return it back and i want to show you another thing what apg is providing so if i put back the api key but i send ill formatted data let's see what happens in this case so apg is also triggering open api spec validation based on the format which i have given it's saying that does not match so it is also telling what does not match and you need to correct that now let's go to apg and see how this has been implemented so apg is providing you different policies out of the box for verifying api key oh, i have set up that in my header there should be an api key field and then that api key field should have a proper api key uh, in that field and then i have open api spec validation where i have given my open api spec and if i go here this is an open api spec 3.0 uh, yaml file and here i have given different patterns 
what my value should be what is mandatory required if i don't give these values then also it's going to throw that these are the mandatory required fields you need to submit so this is how apg is providing this different functionalities here i have quotas implemented and then at the end once everything passed through i am sending my request to application integration and this time i am going to trigger another validation which is not a static validation like open api spec but we have some validation for cloud function is implementing so this time i am giving rs and this properly formatted value so let's give seven digits here and i believe it's seven no it's eight so let's remove one and if i send this this time what's going to happen is my data is still going to pass through i am able to write it to salesforce if i go to salesforce and see my data if i refresh again i will see that barrier and flash has been entered but this time my pass check has failed so these are the custom fields which i have added in my object in salesforce and i am able to set these values from application integration so now let's go to application integration and see what uh, are we doing here so the first thing which we have done is set up an api trigger for my integration and this is the integration which apg is triggering and it is happening on google network uh, private google network and then we have some value set up for the in input which is coming in and as you might have noticed this is the same values which we have in from my postman which i am sending and then what i am doing i am doing a scatter gather pattern to my cloud function services and if i open my one of my cloud function service i will show you what exactly inside that i am doing it's nothing fancy it's very simple basically what i have done i have put a list of accounts if one of the if the account entered matches one of this it is valid otherwise it's invalid and i am setting some parameters from cloud functions to my integration and i can pass information through from here so if i go here i have different parameter sets which i am sending to cloud function and i also i am setting them in cloud function as well so this is how i am doing my validation address and once the response come back i am checking it that response in a javascript function and then setting up another variable which is pass check and this is the variable which i am sending to salesforce and that is also very important to see here how easy in application integration is making to set up my cloud uh, my salesforce object so here application integration is giving me a um, auto generated payload from salesforce so it has access to the schema definition of salesforce and it is telling me what all fields are accessible to me and then it also includes the custom fields which i have added so whenever you make a change in salesforce if you refresh the schema all your custom attributes or all your changes will be available in application integration and it is also giving me an auto generated output payload and this one i am using at the end when i'm done sending information to salesforce and i'm using that payload which is coming back and fetching a value id and this is the id which we see here in the response which we send back to the caller through apg so the caller is coming to apg and then everything happens here it calls application integration gets a response and sends back to the caller so caller has that information available to them and they can use it as they like it now another thing which is happening in application integration if i go back and show you here that if the checks are failed any of the checks are failed then what i am doing i am sending a invalid data email and for that if i go here and i show you this that it is showing me what validation has failed i have the access to all this validation information coming from cloud function so in salesforce i am only able to see that check has failed but what check has failed i am sending it to my operational team and the operation team can take some kind of decision and on top of it so today we saw that how api consumer is able to connect to apg 
and then apg implements some functionalities like open api spec validation authentication authorization quota impl implementation then application integration makes it easy to orchestrate things and send information or trigger different services in either internal or external services and then take different decisions based on different uh, flow information which we have either send notifications or send information to downstream systems and in, in this case it's Salesforce. Thank you so much for watching.